Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Guess what? We're back to work on the bomber. Dad came by this morning. Say hi. See how he's doing. And uh, uh, we're starting to work on it. I got a game plan going. That's what I'm going to do. I got this front uh, about done. I just got to sand it one more time. Shoot some primer on it. And it's gonna it's gonna look really good. And I'm working on the back in these spots. Now a couple of these spots they really wasn't that bad. I just want to kind of clean up these edges. So I took these pieces that I had uh, double face tape into my mold, and uh, I'm gonna double face tape them down there, and that'll that'll bring the thickness up right because I had double face tape on one side. But I had to get all that tape off, man. Huh? I was having a hard time with that double face tape. Do you remember this thing I got? It's kind of like a razor. It's a, like a soldering iron. And it's got a razor blade on there. And man, I got that warm and it just came right off, man. I knew I bought that for a reason. That was the first time I've used it. And I guess where I got it. Harbor Freight. It was only a couple of bucks. And it's for removing stickers. But it worked pretty good. And I just took some lacquer thinner and got the rest of the glue off. And uh, I'm going to clean up my edges. I got this one already taped in there. I took some Bondo. I put some uh, more panel line tape exactly where the panel lines were. I filled it once and uh, sanded it. Now I hit it one more time. I'm going to hit it one, one more time. And I'll sand it and that'll be nice and smooth across there. Then I'll pop it out and I'll have a nice clean line with no voids. I went along there and uh, with a screwdriver or the scraper, paint scraper and uh, so I can find any more voids. I don't want any more popping in after I get it done. Then I'll pull my panel line tape off and it'll be just like that door wasn't removable and then the door come right off. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I, you know, it was looking a little rough. I know the next one will be better. I'm going to get out to Tom's before I lay up my wings but with the holidays coming up and everything and we might have to wait till the first of the year to get out there but after I get the bodywork done on the top I'm gonna flip it over then we're gonna unbolt the landing gear and get them out of there so I don't get no paint on them or make it easier to lug around and flip around without the weight of them gear and I get the bottom fixed up then so I get all the bodywork done and I get it looking pretty good I'm gonna hang it up on the ceiling right beside its mama there and uh, make me give me room to work on these wings so I got a I got my stabs ready these are all glassed I just have to put a leading and trailing edge of balsa on there and uh, get them sanded and I got my rudder the same way my vertical fin it's the same way. So I ain't got a whole lot of work to do to that. And uh, I want to get that done so I can get my elevator mechanism on there. But as soon as I get that molded, I want to get that molded and get my rudder all molded and my main spar pieces back there. I'm going to get them molded. And so I'm going to have all that done. Then probably go visit Tom. And uh, man, them wings will come out awesome. And uh, that's that's what I really want. And uh, you know, even though this was a little rough, you know, this is the prototype. And uh, I hope it flies. <laughs> it probably will, but there's there always that chance. And it'll look good. We'll make her look good. Don't you think, Dad? Yeah, it looks good. And uh, as far as the F-16, I made a movie yesterday. But they wouldn't let me load it. I don't know if it's too long or not. And I kind of showed you the finishing touches on there. And uh, showed you my retract valve. I got that in, and my box. That's a pretty nice setup. I sure like that. But uh, my buddy's coming over today, and we're gonna adjust the brakes. And because uh, I got them working, but they're just full on and full off, and you have to get in there and adjust your percentages on that box. And he knows how to do all that. But he's coming over today, and I'm gonna get them brakes adjusted, and it's getting put away. We're moving it on out of the shop. We got work to do. We don't need that getting dinged up. So, that's where we're at. 
and uh, that's what the plan is. And uh, we're trucking right along. We're gonna get back in the swing of things. Had me a nice little vacation. Built me a jet, and uh, my old herd was getting kind of thin. <laughs> but uh, we're rolling again. You know, Dad's been bored at his shop, and uh, since he's got my landing gear done, he's been building an airplane over there. He's been hiding from you guys. Uh, maybe we can talk him into making a movie, and uh, and uh, posting it online. How about that, Dad? How about just making one movie? He's building the SR-71 over there. It's kind of a small one. It's only about 10 foot long. And uh, maybe we can talk him into making a movie and posting it. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him what you think. See if you, if it, well, I'm give, taking pretty seriously about it. Just maybe not a whole series. Just post one on my thread and show everyone what you've been doing in your shop. All right. And, but it's actually looking pretty good. It's kind of old school. He's uh, measured all his parts with a caliper. And uh, made all the bulkheads and got about the top sheeted, or the top of it all sheeted. And uh, might end up being a pretty good plug. You never know. But maybe we're getting enough people out there yelling at old Pops. Maybe he'll make a movie for you. But until then, we're going to keep rolling. I'm back in B1 mode. And I'll make a movie for you here in a couple of days. We're gonna, we'll get back on the movies. I know you guys out there have been jonesing. But uh, thanks for being so patient with me, and we'll see you back in the shop.